ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Jeff Benjamin with I Download Block, and I have something brand new to show you. This upcoming jailbreak tweak is called Asphalia, and it is designed, it is brought to you by A3 Tweaks, with, uh, of course, Sentry at the helm of that, designing it, uh, of Oxo fame, of course. And this is a security-based tweak. Now, we've seen other tweaks like this before, like BioProtect, for instance, Bio Lockdown, but this puts the A3 tweak spin on things. It is uh, developed by Caleb Ryan. Uh, so we're going to step through the various features of Asphalia and uh, show you how this works. Now, I mentioned the designer, the creators. Let's just open up the creators tab here and just show you Sentry, of course, that uh, of Oxo fame and various other tweaks. And also, Caleb Ryan, um, he's done some things as well uh, with various other tweaks. So, uh, very competent duo here. Uh, bringing us Asphalia. And we're going to step through each section here. At the top, you have, of course, secured apps. And that is where you can go to actually add security to each individual app on your device. And I'm going to show you how this works. Of course, it works with Touch ID, uh, but you don't have to have Touch ID. It also works with passcodes as well. But enough talking. Let me just show you how it works. Let's go to secured apps. When we open up secured apps, you'll see at the top three little sections, dynamic selection, use Touch ID, an activator action. We'll touch on those a little bit later because the first thing I want to focus on is just the basics of Asphalia. Uh, the basics of enabling the tweak for individual apps and showing you how to navigate the security features that Asphalia brings to the table. So you see all your system applications, your user applications, you can just tap on the app right in this list here. So I have App Store and Clock selected. Then you can go to your home screen and then you just tap the icon that you want to launch. So App Store, you tap it. You see it says scan finger. You scan your finger. It scans and opens just like that, folks. So you tap the app. You see where it says scan finger. It has a little fingerprint indicator. You scan your finger. Opens right up. Now, say you don't have Touch ID or you don't want to use it. You just tap the app again. And then you can enter the passcode that you set up when you first launched Asphalia. You saw it at the beginning of the video when I set that up. So what if it can't verify Touch ID? Well, that's what happens. You see the little red flash there. I use the wrong fingerprint, and it flashes and says, says basically, hey, you cannot enter until you put the right fingerprint on the Touch ID sensor. Uh, so this is a very secure tweak, as you can see. It works very similar to BioProtect, BioLockdown, but it has its own little style here, its own visual flair, just much more attention to detail from a design perspective than any of those other apps. Now here in the advanced section, you can see where you can turn off access to certain things like app arranging, slide to power off, multitasking, control center, even spotlight search. You can turn all those off or basically secure all those sections. So for instance, when I try to rearrange an app, that's what happens. It pops up and says, hey, you need to verify your fingerprint. When I try to launch spotlight, it says, hey, you need to verify your fingerprint. And you verify your fingerprint, and it launches just like that. Uh, or you can use a passcode if you want to. If you don't have Touch ID or you just feel like using the passcode, you can just type your passcode in instead. Uh, what about when you want to invoke multitasking? Well, you, you see it right there. It's going to ask you for your fingerprint prior to allowing you to do that. What if you want to launch Control Center? Well, you get the deal by now. Same thing. It's going to ask you for your passcode or it's going to ask you for your fingerprint etc. Now, one last little detail here. What about when you try to power off your device? Well, indeed, it's going to ask you for your uh, credentials before it allow you to power off as well. So you can see, you can really secure your device to a very high level when you use Asphalia. Now, you've probably noticed me going in and out of Asphalia settings in the settings app, and that could be a little annoying. What if you wanted to enable or disable Asphalia for certain apps directly in that app itself. Well, you need to have dynamic selection enabled. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first of all, open up your application of choice. I'm gonna open up the clock app here. And of course, security is on there, so I need to scan my finger, did that. Now, what if I wanna turn off the security while in that app? Well, all you need to do is put your finger on the Touch ID sensor, and you'll see this, scan fingerprint to remove from your secured apps. And then you just scan your fingerprint again, and bam, it's gone or you can enter your passcode, of course. So now I can launch clock, doesn't ask me for any credentials whatsoever. And that's how you can enable or disable Asphalia directly while in an application. Now I just re-enabled it here. I'm gonna type my password or my passcode in. And now when I exit and try to go back in, yes, it asks for my security credentials again. So that is how you quickly toggle the security settings for Asphalia 
directly with, within an application. You don't have to go into the settings, you know, type in your passcode, all that jazz. You can just do it right from within an app. Now, let's check out some other things here. If you go into the passcode options, you see you can change your passcode. Of course, you can disable or enable Touch ID. You can also set a threshold for your authorization. So you see it's set to immediately here, but I can set a threshold. Say I want 10 second threshold and I want it to reset on lock. So that basically means once I verify my passcode or use, it, use Touch ID just like this, then I can exit that app and within 10 seconds, I can open it again. It won't request the uh, security credentials again. But if I lock my device and I reopen it, hurry up and put in my passcode here and relaunch the app, it will ask me to verify again because it knew that the app or the phone was locked and you had that lock feature there enabled, uh, reset on lock, so it required me to reauthorize. Now let's look at some of the advanced options here. Obscure app content. Now, when you open up the multitasking switcher, you normally you can see previews of your apps, but this option allows you to obscure app con content for apps that have been locked down with Asphalia. So we're gonna just enable actually all these applications using select all here. So everything that appears in the app switcher should be obscured because of course they're locked down. So you can see it right there all the apps are obscured. You can't really see it. it's kind of blurred out there. You can't see the contents. And of course, you'll need to verify before launching those apps and seeing the content within. So that is one nice advanced setting. Now let's go back into the passcode options and check out the rest of the advanced options here. The next one is unlock to app unsecured. So you can actually set a limit of time after unlocking before the app security is enabled. So what this basically means is that once you unlock your device and hence verify, then all your apps will be unlocked for a limited, limited time there. You can see there just like that. So the question is, what happens when you turn that option off? What does it do then? So let's go back to advanced options, disable unlock to app unsecured. And now we're going to lock our device and unlock and then try to launch an app that is locked down. So unlock with Touch ID, try to launch the App Store and it still asks me to verify again even though I just verified to unlock the device to begin with. So you can see why that little toggle is so handy because it saves you time. So let's go back into advanced options. You have a delay as folia which basically allows you to delay authentication of a secured app if the app's already open in a window. And when you enable the delay as folia option, you'll get a list of various thresholds that you can select from, just like this. So 10 seconds, 30 seconds, up to 30 minutes if you want. Now let's check out that last option for fingerprints. You can actually assign specific fingerprints to specific actions for Asphalia. Uh, and that's a really cool thing to have if you have a Touch ID device like the iPhone 5S. So you can see you can even enable or disable the exact finger that you have assigned in Touch ID for the certain sections of Asphalia here. Now, last but not least, you have your control panel and then you have some activator actions and activator actions are really cool in Asphalia. I'm gonna show you what you can do or at least some of the things you can do with activator actions in Asphalia. So first of all, what we need to do is assign an action here to our control panel. So let's go down here and let's select from screen bottom right, how about that? All right, so once we use that action on our home screen, watch what happens. As follow your control panel, you tap the little passcode or you verify with Touch ID, of course. I verify with Touch ID. Now you can disable my secured apps or enable global app security. So I can tap disable my secured apps, I can close and I can launch any app because I've disabled security for all apps. Or I can, of course, re-enable that security just like this. So tap enable my secured apps. Now I close out and I try to launch an app. It's locked down. So you can quickly manage your apps using that control panel. Just one of the features that you'll find in Activator uh, that allows you to manage Asphalia settings here. So this again is a tweak created by A3 Tweaks, a combination of Sentry and Calum Ryan this is a great release, ladies and gentlemen. Don't sleep on Asphalia uh, if you've tried Bio Lockdown before, if you've tried uh, BioProtect before. Those are good, good releases, don't get me wrong, but the level of detail in Asphalia as far as a design perspective is concerned is second to none, really it is. And here's the thing, what if you've already purchased one of the other security tweaks like Bio Lockdown or BioProtect or AppLocker? What then? Well, A3 Tweaks will give you a discount for Asphalia. Yes, 
The tweak will only be 99 cents for those of you who purchase Bio Lockdown or App Locker or BioProtect. And for everyone else, it's $1.99. Pretty inexpensive and it's definitely nice, a nice gesture uh, for them to give you a discount if you already purchased one of the other uh, jailbreak releases that provide security. Those other tweaks are really good. Don't don't get me wrong. This is just another take on it though. And I think I prefer this just because I'm used to that E3 tweaks design and I'm used to that attention to detail uh, from a design perspective. This is a step above the rest. Uh, and the features, you may find that you like the features more so than the others as well. And I don't know. It's just going to be something you're going to have to try out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm super excited to hear what you have to say about Asphalia. This is a tweak that I've been testing out for quite a while, and um, I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback on it. So let me know what you guys think about Asphalia down in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.